Hi, Saber Spruce here, back with another Enter Our Dimensions New Game Plus 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 video, episode 203. And it's just been 20 minutes since last episode. I have 10 million Infinity Bosonic Runes, and it is time to start getting some Ghostly Bosonic Runes. So, to get three, it looks like it's going to take seven to eight minutes. It's a little lame, but whatever, I'll deal with it. This is much faster because of all the Z Bosons that I have. And I also have a good amount of Balsonic battery. So I'm, get, I'm gonna get that. I can also get this upgrade. That's big. It's gonna allow me to get just a bunch of stuff. More Balsonic Antimatter. Just more everything. And yeah, there's... I think I just wanna... I'm just trying to get the five or the three additional Ghost Light Balsonic runes at this point. So I don't think... I can get a million levels of this if I want. But like... Actually, there's no reason not to because... I, I mean, I guess I could try to save 40 million for this, but the thing is, the next upgrade here is just Eternity and Ghostly Balsonic Runes, and this is only Infinity and Quantum Balsonic Runes. So, I'm going to get this. It's going to double the speed of, of that. I'm getting W plus bosons. So, I'm just going to I'm gonna convert W minus W plus while I go into Big Rip and do stuff there. So, yeah, you can see... I can get 112 rewards and thir still 13 right now. I think it is. I'm pretty close to 14, but not quite there yet. So now I have get rid of all my W minus bosons, which means that this is going to be much faster. So it looks like now it's gonna only last one minute per room. That's really good. So I'm, I also have. A tiny bit of Bosonic Overdrive as well. So, yeah, there's not much else I can do. I could, if I want, get this. It's, I guess I can get this. It's not, it's not even much I can do, but it's something. It's a tiny bit of boost to Bosonic Antimatter. So, I, I essentially am just going to wait for more Ghostly Bosonic Runes. I feel like this is a decently powerful upgrade. I know this one's very weak. This one's okay. This I think this one's good just because of how many light empowerments I have. I'm now up to 18 light empowerments. So I feel like this is a pretty good upgrade to get. Okay, I'm up to five Ghostly Balsonic Runes. This means I'm going to go with um, Eternity Balsonic Runes. I need 2.5 million and I'm getting 8,000 per second. This means that it will take about five minutes to get the Eternity Balsonic Runes that I want. So, shouldn't be too bad. I feel like it's the same amount of time from, as getting zero to five Ghostly Balsonic Runes. So, there's not really much else I can do while I'm waiting for this. So, I'm just going to cut this out. Okay, I'm approaching 2.5 million. This means I can get this upgrade. It's going to... It's decently good. It's... Not the most powerful ever, but it does something. I'm just going to get Z-Bosons while I... I guess actually instead of getting Z-Bosons, I can get more W plus Bosons while I go into Big Rip. Because it may be a lot more powerful in Big Rip. Yeah, I feel like that was... I feel like that's a lot better in Big Rip than normal. 114 rewards and 14 radioactive decays. So that's enough to hopefully get me even more Antimana, which means even more Bosonic Watts. I think it's around this point where things start to slow down substantially. Um, I'm not sure. Like, yeah, the next upgrade here, I need 20 million um, Eternity Will Sonic Runes. The one after that is 37.5 million. So I should probably just grind all the way to 37.5 million. And then I need to get um, 40 million Infinity Will Sonic Runes, 7.5 million Quantum Will Sonic Runes. Could even try to grind to 15 million and get 200 Ghostly Balsonic Runes so I can get this. Except this, these two upgrades are very weak. So I think it's just better just to get the 20 million Eternity Balsonic Runes and 40 million Infinity Balsonic Runes. Because this one's a fairly good upgrade. But yeah, it's around here where just things get really slow. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grind W plus Bosons for a while. Like hours. And hopefully with that, I'll be able to get runes much quicker. Because, yeah, the runes are still slow, no, no matter what. 
I'm, yeah, I'm, I feel like this is a little slower than last time, but maybe it's just me. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back a while later. I mean a long while. I've actually done a lot of off-camera grinding, mostly of Z-Bosons, and also just W plus and W minus bosons. I have almost 3 trillion, and I saw some insane rune growth. Like, seriously, I have billions of infinity and eternity bosonic runes, and almost a billion quantum bosonic runes. I also um, have grinded it enough just so I can get these upgrades. So, yeah. I can get this upgrade, this upgrade. Um, I've already gotten these. I don't think I've gotten this one, but I don't think it's very powerful. But then I have not gotten this one. I'm sure of that. And this is all types of galaxies boost each other. And this, yeah, it's reasonably powerful. It's going to bump me up 20 quadrillion orders of magnitude advanced matter. I'm now up to 375 E376 quadrillion. That's what I mean. And, yeah, that's pretty exciting. But more exciting, honestly, to me, is just what I can do with this. Look how many levels I can get of these. I can get 353 million levels of this. That's a, That boosts this by probably about nine times from the 1.17k. Um, so, yeah, let's just max this. It's going to be... Hindered by infinity bosonic runes, I'm not really close to any upgrade because this is 25 billion. I mean, I could grind all the way to it, but I think it'd be better just to do this. So, actually, that's more than nine times. I, I don't know why I thought it was like getting 90 times. No, it's like 300 times. So, yeah, that's more like a 15 or 16 times boost to how fast the um, the antiprions are used. And not only that. I can get um, got this from 500, level 511 to level 460,000. This is huge. This brings me from 430,000 times to 500 million times. That's a thousand times boost to how fast I get Z-Bosons. Not only that, yeah, you can see just how fast this is. I love sort of the late part of, the, of these Bosonic Lab stuff. I can also really bump up overdrive, and I have it at three times, and it's not even doing all that much to my Volsonic battery. And yeah, that's just another perk of that. I can also get a bunch of levels of this. Yeah, it does barely anything though, so I'm not going to get that. But yeah, it feels pretty nice to be able to use this much Volsonic battery. I can also just get yeah tons of Z-Bos and just tons of everything. Doesn't look like I'm really getting much Bosonic battery, um, even when I do this. So, yeah, let's actually try going into Big Rip. I haven't done that yet. So, while I grind these bosons, E183 billion in Big Rip, 116 rewards, almost 117, and 15 radioactive decays. I'm not sure if I've ever had 15 before. And I cannot quite get a light empowerment, but I'm a single one, I'm a single ultraviolet light away from a light empowerment. So, that's, gonna, that's pretty good. I still can't gain any ghost particles. It's been that way since, like, the New Game Plus 3.1 update. But, yeah, also I feel like I'm going to get even more antimatter because all these upgrades are not quite retroactive. So, so this will boost Bosonic Watts further. And, yeah, maybe I can just keep doing this. I'm going to, with, I now have nearly a quadrillion W plus bosons. This is going to allow me to get runes extremely quickly. You can see this is already kind of quick, but it's, I'm just getting more and more per second. And I, I have upgraded this enough that um, this upgrade enough that it won't really be a bottleneck. So I st I'm still actually, the thing is that I'm still I'm not getting Bosonic Antimatter as much. Or I'm, I'm not getting it. I mean, I can definitely grind to E34 from here. I'm about one and a half. No, not one, two and a half orders of magnitude away. And at this rate, I'm getting about 1e29 per second. So at this rate, it'll be about um, one day to reach this. I mean, of course, there is also the Bosonic Enchant here that I can get. That will definitely help things. I'll, I'll get that towards the end of the Bosonic Lab run. I'm just going to keep getting Z-Bosons and Grinding Runes. You can just see how fast it is. I'm getting, actually... 
I'm getting 2.1 million per second, but I can now I can upgrade this a lot more. Now I'm getting almost 10 million Infinity Balsonic runes every second. That's actually that's really good because you just see how much this like can get me. I can even get I'm not exactly sure how fast this is, but this looks like about nine ghostly balsonic runes per second. So that means that I can basically upgrade balsonic of these as I want. And I guess if I want, I can just get I don't I really I don't want 217 levels of this, but maybe I can get something like I can just see how good this is going to be. Um, not the best, but it's something. It seems like this has exponential. Uh, no, it's not quite exponential scaling. I'm not sure. That was 3256. Um, if I if I do some math, it would be um, four to seven. Maybe maybe quadratic. I have no idea what type of scaling this is, but um, anyway, it's just nice that I can get all of these runes. I can keep grinding levels of this and I can perhaps light empowerment? No, I can't light empowerment at this point. I'm just not getting enough dark matter. So it was definitely a good burst of speed, but it doesn't look like it's going to be sustained. So I'm probably actually will want to grind out billions of runes. So what I'm probably going to do here, I'm going to get some more runes, just off camera, I will grind the Z weldons off camera. I'll turn down Bosonic Overdrive down to something more that, that won't use that much Bosonic battery. And I'm essentially just gonna do the same sort of grinding off camera as I did last time. So yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back. Um, just a um, okay days later, and you can see how many runes I've grinded. Maybe I should save this for the next episode. It's only one upgrade though. So I guess I'll just do the upgrade this episode, and I'll save the rest for next episode, just just to leave you on a cliffhanger. At least I'm going to give you this upgrade for the rest of this episode. So Replicantes and Emperor Dimensions boost each other. Currently, 15 or almost 16 orders of magnitude to replicate interval increase. So that is um, it's this, the interval increase. I'm guessing that's just going to help me get more Replicanti, even though Replicanti is kind of useless at this point. And um, and then there's 53 non-million times to all Emperor Dimensions. Let's see even where my Emperor Dimensions are. I have three E376 normal replic replicants. 50 non-million? That's like E31. If you do that to all Emperor Dimensions, that could be huge. Because if you essentially will multiply the 51 by 8, that will square my replicants. Which, again, may not be the most useful thing, but whatever. I'll do it. And you can see it's giving me a few quadrillion orders of magnitude of antimatter. So it's at least helping at all. And maybe I can just big rip because this may have an effect in big rip. Also, this would be the good this would be the time to try dilating time in big rip. Oh, of course. I'm, I can get tons more nano failure rewards because of a ton more um, replicants, which means more prions. So it's that still 15 radioactive decays. I'm not really close to 16. If I like grinded this out for a day, I could reach 16, but it's not. I'm not that close. I think instead what I want to do is dilate time because yeah, that's 25 orders of magnitude of of dilated of, of tachyon particles. Almost e500. It's like almost enough to try to see if I can like actually maybe this is enough to help push me to 16 radioactive decays. I'm, I'm not really sure, but I think what I think what I'll do, I'll just try try it one more time. See if I can reach E500. Nope, not quite. It's E499. But that will definitely help with the um, of course photons, which means yeah, I'll start doing more light empowerments. Maybe I can actually increase my ghost particles and E400 quadrillion antimatter. We're really getting up there. This is crazy. It's probably a combination of that upgrade and the increase in tachyon particles. And you can just see how much dilated time I have. E3442, which is kind of crazy. So yeah, I, I will I will see what I can do with the Balsonic Lab stuff next episode. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.